the comfortable seats. Okay. So sitting up. Yeah, that's great. I love that. Laying on your back is perfectly great. Somewhere that's comfortable for you to start focusing on breathing. Okay. shoulders over your hips if you're sitting up. Sitting up nice and tall. Start to close the eyes or maybe just keeping a soft gaze. We'll take this time to notice our breath. To feel the breath move through the body. See where you can feel your breath at. If it's most noticeable at the belly, the chest, at the nose, maybe you can feel your breath in your head. Anything comfortable for you. Wherever the arms lay, see if you can soften the face. your jaw, soften the shoulders away from the ears. Take this moment to allow yourself to just be here. Everything that comes before, everything that will come after, allow that to be outside of the room and here on our mat is just yoga. We're just focusing on our breath. Focusing on the movements. Take one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. You can still lay down for this if you want. <laughs> yeah, totally good. Start to notice your breath move against your hands. Maybe you feel the belly rise and fall. Maybe you feel the chest rise and fall. Breathe in, feel the hand on your belly get larger. As you breathe out, feel that hand on the belly get smaller again. Breathe in, your hand on your belly gets larger. Breathe out, it gets smaller. Filling the belly with air as you inhale. Letting all the air go as you exhale. Really just letting your breath root you in this place. Other things come up, that's okay. Just continue, just guide the mind back to the breath. Now we'll see if we can make that breath a little bit longer. So as we inhale, we breathe into our belly. Keep breathing all the way up to our chest. Breathe out, the chest gets smaller, the belly gets smaller. Breathe in, fill your belly up with air. Fill your chest up with air. Breathe out, let go of the air in the chest. Let go of the air in the belly. Breathe and fill your belly up with air. Fill your chest up with air. Breathe out, chest, belly. We'll do a few more like that. Breathe in, fill your belly. Fill your chest. Breathe out, let go of the air in the chest. Let go of the air in the belly. Breathe in, belly.
bring our hands to our hearts. Begin practice today with one full sound of OM. You guys can join in if you'd like or just listen. OM is going to let our bodies know it's time to practice yoga. It's going to solidify the fact that we are here in this present moment. Everything else can go away. Taking a deep breath in. take the right hand to the right side of our body. Our left hand is going to reach up overhead. Just briefly, we're going to follow our breath with this. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale to the other side. So left hand down, right hand up overhead. Perfect. Breathe in, both hands up. Breathe out to the right. Breathe in, both hands up. Breathe out to the left. Perfect. Either direction is fine as long as we're just moving back and forth. Inhale. Exhale to the side. Inhales up. Exhale to the side. You're following your breath, so it can be at a different pace than me. It can be at a different pace than your neighbor. What matters is you. Next time you find yourself to the right side, stay there. So the left hand being down, the right hand reach, or sorry, the right hand being down, the left hand reaching. So you're over to that right side. You can stay up on that right hand, or if you prefer to come down to the right forearm, that might be a bigger stretch, so you don't have to. We're just, we're doing, oh, just what we were doing, but we're just holding it now. So your, uh, yeah, your left hand's up and overhead, perfect. So you're getting long in that left side body. Your left hip crease is rooting into the ground instead of having it reach up. So you can push the left hip crease into the ground so that your hips are even. So instead of being oh, up, doing it. you're doing it right. Just push your left bottom into the ground more. Nice. And then just keep reaching with that left arm. Really perfect. So that way you're getting nice and long in your left side body. Yeah, I can't go lower than my... Yeah, you don't have to go lower. You don't need to. Up here. Yeah, so the main goal is to have our hips being in the ground even. So if that means not going lower, then you don't need to. Okay, breathe in, both hands up overhead. Now we're gonna go to the other side. So left hand down, right hand up overhead. Yep, both hips even is the main goal. If you can go further by coming down, you can. I don't personally like to because that's too much of a stretch for me. Yeah. Yeah, notice what's, what your body says. Mm -hmm. Keep reaching that right hand up overhead. Breathe in, both hands up. Awesome, breathe out, hands to your heart. Beautiful. Breathe in. We're going to circle the hands all the way up overhead. Slowly with your breath to your heart. Do two more times. Breathe in. Circle. Nice and slow. Really beautiful, guys. Exhale slowly to your heart. Last one. Breathe in. Breathe out to your heart. Okay, perfect. Um, start to walk your hands forward. The hands are just coming forward, we're relaxing close to the ground. Let your head come to the ground. If it's comfortable, you don't have to. I don't know if you guys have seen Child's Pose, it's good. Yeah, totally. I'm a big fan of Child's Pose. We're gonna get there too, but Child's Pose is totally great. Mm -hmm. Breathe in, walk the hands back up, right? You can stay there in Child's Pose, Lynn, because we're gonna make our way there in a second too. Come to your hands and knees. Are you guys fans of child's pose? Mm -hmm. like it? Yeah. Yep. Feet, knees spreading open here. Our feet will come to touch. The feet will be flat, yeah, and then we'll take our seat back towards our heels. Coming into child's pose, forehead touches. Hands walk out long in front of you. Shoulder blades drawing back here, noticing the breath. I'm gonna check in to see if I can change the hair because I think it's a little bit. Feel your breath as you breathe in, your belly gets bigger. As you breathe, the walls get smaller. So 
really see if you can tap into your belly here. Just focus in on that belly. You get bigger as you breathe in. Belly gets smaller as you breathe out. I do something wrong with this too, though, because I... Something not sure, right? In my right hip. Like, what am I doing? It hurts in the right hip? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe see if you can... Something wrong. Okay, show me. So bring your head down into child's pose. And your, feet, your knees are apart, or your feet tucked in. Mm -hmm. See if you can bring a little bit more weight over into your left hip. Just kind of pull it that way a little. Does that feel any different? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does your head come towards the ground? Like, will your forehead touch or not? It's okay if it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the other thing in child's pose is your hands can walk around long in front, but if it's more comfortable for your hands to come just beside you, that's okay too. So yeah, less the top of the head, more the forehead, like the space between the eyebrows. Touches, yeah. Does that feel a little better, Lynn? Mm, yeah, okay. a little bit. <laughs> okay, we'll take our hands back underneath our shoulders, push up into tabletop. So in tabletop, we want our knees spread, our feet are coming back behind us. Hands are directly underneath our shoulders, spread our fingers nice and wide. Breathe in, we're gonna reach our right hand up overhead. Circle your right wrist as you breathe out. Circle it the other direction. Feel all those bones that might be waking up in the wrist. And then big circle of the right arm. Breathe in, right arm reaches up, up, up again. Breathe out, right arm comes back to the ground. Now press the right hand to the ground, reach the left arm up, beautiful. As you breathe out, circle the right or left wrist one direction, circle it the other. And then circle the whole left arm. One direction, the other, really good. And as you breathe out, left hand comes back to the earth. Your spine, and then start to circle out the hips a little. So we're still in this table shop top, but we're mm -hmm. making a little circle with the hips. Yeah, nice. Whatever feels good. So if making bigger circles feels good or smaller. This spot too is where I notice where tight spots show up in my hip. Mm -hmm. So if I find a spot, I might pause there a little more and breathe into it. So this is just waking it up the spine, noticing what the body feels like. Yeah, and then maybe you move it towards the shoulders too. So maybe the shoulders go in circles as well. Whatever feels good. Awesome. And then we'll curl the toes under. Pushing the hands into the ground still. Lift the knees about an inch or so off the ground. Yep, you can come onto the <laughs> forearms if that's more comfortable. Pause here for a second and then reach the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Feel that in the hamstrings. You can bend one knee, strain the other. Breathe into tension. And then you can rotate that back and forth. And then you'll walk the hands all the way back to the feet. So that you're coming to the back of the mat in a forward fold. Yeah, so folding forward, bending the knees. Um, bend your knees and lock so that your ribs touch your thighs. Yeah, and that'll help it so it's gonna bring the hands closer to the ground. So that your hands can feel like they can touch. Let your head hang. Maybe you shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Let it all just kind of roll off the back. Take your hands behind your back. Yeah, interlace the fingers. And then maybe walk your hands up the back a little bit and then you reach them up towards the ceiling, still folding forward, just breathing into the shoulders. Nice. Breathe in and as you breathe out, unhook the hands, let the hands come down and then take your seat back. Taking the seat back, so bending our knees like we're sitting in a chair. So 
Yeah, and then reach the hands up overhead. This one's gonna make our legs work a little bit. Mm -hmm. Sitting in our chair pose, and then come all the way up to standing. Just briefly, and then hands to your heart. Nice, so you can stand up nice and tall, hands to the heart. Good job. It's kind of hard to kind of work the legs there in the chair pose. Mm -hmm. All right, and then standing up, hands at your heart, feet are facing forward. So check in with your feet. Sometimes they're turning out a little bit. See if both feet can face completely forward, but they're parallel with one another. So Dan, turn your right foot just a teeny bit forward. Mm -hmm. So this one here, yeah, perfect. Same with you, Lauren, right foot. Yeah, really good. And so then they're completely parallel. And then we're, we'll play with our balance here, kind of pu pushing our way all the way into the heels so that we're rocking too far back. Push your way into the um, toes so you're rocking too far forward. So that you can kind of just find where the center point is. The only reason we're doing that, we're going out of balance so that we can find where balance is. Yeah, so eventually just find the complete center in between the feet, mm -hmm. in between the heels and the toes. I have a tendency to hang out more on my heels. I don't know about you guys. Sometimes I'll check, I'll just notice my feet and my toes are barely even touching the ground. So see if we can get our weight completely even so we're totally balanced. Definitely. Toes or heels for you, do you know? My feet are not right in the parallel. That's hard. Is it? Your feet actually look really good. Oh, they're okay. But do you feel like you're putting more weight in one foot than the other? Right now I am. It's usually my left. I feel like I put more weight on my left foot than my right foot. Right now I am. Really? Interesting. Yeah. And is it harder to shift back to the right? No. No? You can you can do it if you put effort in it. Yeah. Yeah. So how much we notice throughout the day? I think that I do it too. I like tend to put, like bend one knee and straighten the other, but like see if we can really bring attention to what straight is. This seems like such a simple pose. Oh, stand up! I do that all day long. Mm -hmm. But can you really focus on being completely balanced here? So now your shoulder, your shoulders. These are not our shoulders. These are our hips. We go through both of our friends. Diane can teach me anatomy. <laughs> our hips are over our ankles. Our shoulders are over our hips. And then opening up the shoulders, palms are facing forward. Yeah, so we're getting nice and tall, reaching out through the crown of our head. Softening the shoulders. Also breathe in, take our hands up overhead. Look up, reach the chest up. Bend backwards a little bit as we breathe out, our hands come through our heart. Awesome. Try that once more, breathe in, reach the hands up overhead. Opening up the heart, maybe looking back a little bit. Breathe out, hands to your heart. Yeah, really good job, Lauren. Okay, and then we will do just a little bit of balance. Similar to what we did last week, but we're gonna see if we can take it a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. Taking your, uh, I'll mirror you guys, so your right foot into the ground. Okay. Pushing the right foot into the ground. Again, see if you can lift those left toes. Yeah, so those left toes are just gonna get super light. Maybe the left toes are just really light on the ground and just barely touching really good, Diane. Maybe lift them a little bit higher. If this is not too hard to lift them higher, well, actually, first let's get our balance. Yeah, find something on the ground to stare at so that you're not, well, if you walk, it's okay, but it's gonna help still the mind. If you got that and you can go a little further, we can see if we can get that left ankle on the right knee. Yeah, so kind of like tree, but it's more like a figure four. And if you sway and fall out, that's okay. Good job, Lauren. If this isn't too hard, I don't know. I personally like to bring my hands to my heart to help my balance, but help you, uh, just see what you guys like. Flex that uh, left foot. So instead of having it pointed and loose, see if you can have it flexed so it's strong. Really good. Um, you got it pretty well here. So if you want to go a little further, you can bring the ankle to the heel. So it's not quite tree, it's more like a figure four so that your ankle is laying over the. Um, not heel, but knee. Sorry, I'm not being very clear. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing well. Really good. So focus on the foot that's standing in the ground first. Push that into the ground. Moving slowly. Get your balance in one spot and then you move to the next. Okay. So if you want to go a little further on its own thing, you can see if you can take your bend. Oh, I'm not going to do it. Bend your standing leg so that you're sitting in the seat back. That might be a big stretch in the hip. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
That was, that was good though, Wendy. You got it. It's okay, wherever you're at is perfect because there's a lot of work to do with wherever you're at. Even just focusing on that spot, finding something on the ground to stare at. If you can, bend it a little bit. You don't have to. Yeah. I think just working that balance is a great spot to go to. Nice. Good job, Lauren. That was really good. Sorry, my clock might have turned off. <laughs> you guys are doing really good. I don't know if that leg is sore, sore yet because you guys have been balancing for a while, so maybe shake the legs out a little bit. And we'll try the other side. So now our left foot is pushing into the ground. Come up onto our right toes. So our right toes are super light into the ground. Yeah, instead of like having the whole foot just pressing. So you can just start with being really light on the right toes. Nice. Hands can come to your heart if that helps you with balance. Start here by just finding a spot on the ground to focus on. Finding a spot to still your gaze. Feel your body. This one's much easier. Yeah, you think so? I think so, then my, then my left to here. Interesting, okay. Uh -huh. And then maybe you lift that leg further up so that the right foot is coming off the ground if you can. If you wanna go a little further, you can bend the right knee, take the right ankle over top the left knee. Oh, I can't. Yeah, that'd be figure four. But it can be hard, so where you're at is perfectly fine too. Really nice. Yeah, move slow, one movement at a time. Allow yourself grace. If your body doesn't want to go there today, that's okay. <laughs> work where you're at. Because this there's a lot of work to do with just the toes being light on the ground. Nice. And if you have that there, if you want to sit back more, you can. Yeah, yeah that was really good. <laughs> it's hard work. It is hard work. Yeah, shake the legs out. Let all that energy go. You guys, you guys worked really hard there. That was a long time. It held you in there. Sorry. Um, what I kind of like to do sometimes too is um, taking the toes underneath so that you're kind of stretching out the ankle a little. Does that make sense? So curling the toes under, so it makes the foot kind of go backwards. Okay. Yeah, does that feel good? Mm. To me, it feels yeah. really good. What do you think, Diane? Do you like that? Mm -hmm. um, my ankle's been super tight lately, my wrists too. Okay, now take it back down to the ground. Breathe in, look up, reach up. Hands up overhead, breathe out, full forward. Inhale, half lift, hands to the shin, flat back. Looking a few inches in front of the feet. Long spine, exhale, fold forward again. We'll do that a few times. Breathe in, half lift. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, half lift. Exhale, fold. And then now here, you can take your hands to touch the ground if you can, bend your knees there. Bend your knees to open wide so that your seat comes down. Yeah, and then eventually we're just gonna come sit on the ground. So oh, that was just my fancy way of saying sit down. <laughs> So here, take the feet together, the knees open up wide. For a butterfly, mm -hmm. um, in yoga it's called Vada Kanasana. Okay. That stands for bound angle. Ooh, it's pretty sexy. What is it called? Vada Konasana. Vada Konasana. Mm -hmm. Bound angle. So, um, I don't know if I've told you guys this, but the words that I'm saying that say asana at the end, mm -hmm. that's called Sanskrit. That's mm -hmm. the language of yoga and then it translates to English. Butterfly is a made up word we put on it, but mm -hmm. technically, the, technically the English translation is bound angle. Bada means bound, kona mm -hmm. means ankle, and asana means pose. Bada konasana. Yeah. Cool, so sitting up really tall here. Feeling the belly get bigger as you inhale, belly gets smaller as you exhale. Breathe in, belly gets big. Breathe out, belly gets small. One more. Breathe in, belly gets big. Breathe out, belly gets small. Nice. And then we'll reach our hands all the way up overhead here. If you want to stay upright, you can. Or you can bring your hands down and start walking them forward. Lower yourself closer to the ground, whatever feels best in your body. So if you come down and you're like, eh, doesn't feel good, walk yourself back up. 
Do whatever feels right for you. Okay. Got lots of permission here. Everything I say is always just a option. It's never a command. So you guys um, are the ultimate guide. It's actually your breath is the ultimate guide, which is you. It's like only your breath to tell you what to do. Then slowly walk the hands back in, sitting upright. And then you can take the hands outside of the knees, bring them closer together. Then the hands are going to come behind you. So the feet are down, the knees are up here. And then we'll, um, a little space between the feet, so they're not touching, but there's a little space, yeah. And then we're going to sway the knees side to side, so the knees will come over to the right. As you breathe in, they'll come up, and then the knees come over to the left. Breathe in, they come up, sway out to the side. Breathe in, breathe out. I might call this windshield wipers. Just noticing one side feels different than the other. When I'm going to my left, uh, on my right leg, it feels really different from my other leg. Yeah, my left can touch the floor of the right feet. Interesting. Yeah, so yoga is just a practice of noticing, getting in touch well, with our I own can, body. But now cool. Okay, and then eventually we'll come all the way down to our backs. So we can lay down. The knees are staying up here. Bring the knees into the chest. See if you can give your knees a nice big squeeze. Rotating. And then eventually the knees are gonna fall all the way open to the left. So knees come to your left side. Open your body up to the right. So that your um, right hand is opening up. Yeah, you're looking either straight ahead or over your right shoulder. Yeah, does that feel okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Not quite. Not quite? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. That's thinking. my breath is just like... It's more of the shoulder that feels weird? Yeah. So maybe bring it back to your, um, back to your head. Bring yeah. your right shoulder. Does that feel better just like that? Yeah. Okay. Whatever's comfortable too. If it feels better to relax it down, you can do that too. Perfect. It's more about twisting in the torso. So yeah, I think you do, you do a really great job of noticing what doesn't feel right. And I love when you, I love when you guys don't force. You do what your body is asking you to do. Slowing down the breath here. Breathe in, the knees come back to center. Breathe out, knees go over to the opposite side. So knees are coming to your right now, and you're looking over to your left, if that's comfortable, or you're just looking straight ahead. Mm -hmm. The arm can go where it's comfortable. Perfect. The main thing is that your torso is twisting the opposite direction of your knees, so you're doing perfect. That looks really good, Lynn. Awesome, Megan. Actually, I don't know if you think that's nice.
to center. And give him another big squeeze in. And then bringing the feet to the ground, keep the knees up. Hands can come long beside your body. So as you breathe in, we're going to lift the hips up. Breathe out, lower your hips back down. Breathe in, lift the hips up. Breathe out, lower them down. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, lower. See if you can move the hips with the breath. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, lower. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, lower. Now we'll see if you can lift the hips for three seconds. Breathe in, one, two, three. Breathe out, one, two, three. Nice. Breathe in, lift the hips, one, two, three. Breathe out, lower, one, two, three. Breathe in, lift, one, two, three. Breathe out, lower, one, two, Three. Breathe in, lift one, two, three. Breathe out, lower one, two, three. Breathe in, lift one, two, three. Lower one, two, three. Rest. Take the feet a little bit wider, bring the knees together. Bring one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly again. Just feel the breath move here. Lift the knees back up. Take the legs long on the mat. Open the arms up long. Palms are facing up. Relaxing the whole body on the earth. Feel yourself nice and comfortable. Letting yourself have a complete relaxing pose. Soften your ankles, relax the toes, relax the legs, soften the hips, relax the belly, the chest, soften the shoulders. Arms heavy on the earth. Let every finger relax. Palms heavy. Soften the forehead. The eyebrows. Relax the jaw, eyes relax in the socket, face softens, nowhere to be, nothing to do, just be, rest, shavasana.
Circling the wrists, circling the toes. Eventually making your way to your right side, fetal position. Pausing here. Noticing. Showing yourself some gratitude for putting in the work, for showing up for yourself. When you're ready, push your hands to the ground. Use the strength of your arms your way up to a seated position. You can keep the eyes the breath move from the base of the spine out the crown of the head. Back down from the crown of the head to the base of the spine. Breathe in. Breathe out. As you breathe in, think things the word in. As you breathe out, think things Eventually bringing the hands to the heart. And we need gratitude for the final time. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you for practicing, allowing me to guide you, allowing the breath to guide you. You may benefit from it, and the world benefits from it too. So take a deep breath in. Namaste. Namaste.